हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट क्लास इलेवन नाउ दिस इज पार्ट टू जिमी वैलेंटाइन्स रिटर्न बाय ओ हेनरी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पार्ट टू एंड आई हैव गिवन सम क्वेश्चंस ऑन लास्ट डे आई होप यू हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस ऑल क्वेश्चंस प्रॉपरली नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट so last day i told you that society is the most important role to make a criminal or to make a good one jimmy valentine wants to prove this one that nobody want to be a criminal one in this society and that's why he want to hidden his uh, activities in front of the warden now Last day I told you take him back, Tony," said the warden, and fix him up with outgoing clothes. Unlock him at seven in the morning, and let him come to the bull pin. Better think over my advice, Valentine's. So this paragraph actually uh, directs an advice to the warden, uh, to the normal uh, guard about the free, free uh, about the process. that how in the morning he was unlocked and give freedom with the outgoing dresses and that come to the bull pen better think over my advice valentines and a uh, bull pen it's an it's an phrase you know uh, that's provide us that it's a, a room where the discussion was going on that is warden room and uh, the warden requested him to think about his advice and uh, follow this to a good or a normal life now at quarter past 7 on the next morning jim stood in the warden uh, outer office he had in suite of valentiously Uh, valley was sorry valeniously fitting ready made clothes and a pair of stiff squeaky shoes that the state furnishes to its discharged compulsory guests this paragraph actually the demo of the uh, very morning that how jimmy valentines got the freedom with the normal dresses uh, valeniously fitting like a, a scoundrel that is जेटा के दूरत्ता बजे देखते तरह मत लागल एंड भूतर मत एंड भेरि फिटिंग स्पीड प्रपारलि रेडिमेड क्लथ एंड पेयर अफ स्टीफ स्कुई दैट इज स्कुई वार्ड गो एक भलो कर देखे नेसलि स्कुई फार्निस फार्निस डिसचार्ज एंड पशापाशी he what you to lag the supplies bolte bolte pod pora pora the eglo dekhbo so i think you just try to follow these words properly ha uh, compulsory 5 dollar rehabilitate citizenship prosperity warden chronicle this regarding restaurant liberty broiled proceeded leisurely depot tossed boarded barked uh, overpowered dragged out gazed tampered punches brasses and beats janiyadi adur porjonto ekta porabo so it's a squeaky shoes loosened shoes which one uh, making very sounds nasal sound jeta amader catch catch awaj hoy ei dhoroner ekta juto shop niche furnishes to its discharge compulsory guests now it's given it supplies um, all those things as like normal religious uh, normal obligatory what is jeta jekhane master jeta ditei hoy it's a normal rule of the office the clerk handed him a railroad ticket and a 5 dollar bill with a which the law expected him to rehabilitate himself into a good citizenship and prosperity 
The warden gave him a cigar and a shook hands. Valentine's 9762 was chronicled. On the books, pardoned by governor and Mr. James Valentine walked out into the sunshine. So this is the moment what actually described by O. Henry that how Jimmy Valentine's went out from the jail, from the prison after getting the freedom. The <clears throat> clerk of the warden has given him $5, it's a money, kind of money, what he can rehabilitate, he can again uh, start the life, bring back the life properly as a good citizen, as a good citizen will all right. With the proper development of life, with the prosperity. And the warden finally gave him a cigar, that is cigarette, and shook him hands, shook hands, they shook hands, and with the uh, number that 9762, it's the number of Jimmy Valentine's in the jail. Finally, he chronicled, uh, uh, it's a uh, record. According to happens, means Jimmy Valentine had done some good job in the jail properly, and that's why he was given the pardon by the government. So finally, Jimmy Valentine walked out from the jail and went into the real some sign of life. Disregarding the song of the birds, the waving green trees, and the smell of the flowers, Jimmy headed straight for a restaurant. There he tested the first uh, sweet choice of liberty in the shape of broiled chicken and bottle of white wine followed by a cigar, a great better than the one the warden had given him. From there he proceeded leisurely to the depot. He tossed a quarter into the hat of a blind man sitting in the, in, in, by the door and boarded his train. Three hours set him down in a little town near the state line he went to the cafe of one mike dolon and shook hands with mike who was alone behind the bar this paragraph actually provides that uh, after getting the freedom from the jail now jimmy was actually deprived from all these of outside activities now he <coughs> uh, wanted to enjoy the life the sunshine with the twittering of the birds and the smell of the flowers in the square. Finally, he entered into the restaurant where all kinds of food is available. Uh, there he tested first sweet joys of liberty. You know, this is freedom. Freedom is the most important in life. And took the broiled chicken, fried chicken and bottle of white wine. So what are the ingredients he had taken after a long life? After you know the uh, six months imprisonment, he took a broiled chicken, a uh, wine, and the cigarette. That was the most habitual <coughs> what the warden actually given him at the point time of depart depart. <coughs> Sorry. From there, second thing, he proceeded, he started his journey differently. To the depot where the bus and train are available, he tossed a quarter into the hat of the blind man sitting by the door. Somehow, uh, he was actually tossed his head with the hats and, put, uh, uh, and, and, and three hours set him down in a little town near the state line and went towards the train for, uh, for riding because he was ready to go away from the city. Otherwise, it's never be possible to lead a life. <clears throat> After three hours, three hours he reached to the new city and uh, reached to the uh, shop of Mike Dolan. There the Mike Dolan actually uh, sat him and uh, he was the old friend was not behind the bar on that time. So normally this paragraph actually provide you the information that somehow some friends are outside but they never <clears throat> tried the level best to do it but we expect that if we do the job together this world 
that somehow he will help you but never the springfield and the and the, and the sec, uh, unlawful job never be supported by anyone sorry we couldn't make it sooner jimmy with my boy said mike but we had that protest from springfield to pack against to back against and the governor nearly uh, backed feeling all right that was the falsehood actually given by the mike who who wanted to prove that yes they had tried the level best to get him freedom from this uh, unlawful you know activity now what for he was jailed so the protest against the governor and governor pardoned him but what actually this was falsehood that jimmy realized the truth that it was not they have not done anything fine said jimmy and got my key and ultimately he wanted the key where uh, he had uh, put the, all the things before going to the jail he got his key and went upstairs unlocking the doors of a room at the rear everything was just as he said left there on the floor was steel ben price's collar button that had been from uh, torn from that i mean in detective sat went when they had overpowered jimmy to arrest him <clears throat> now jimmy go upstairs of the hotel room where he where from he was actually arrested by ben price the well known renowned detective ben price who took the jimmy by force <clears throat> on that very day still there was nothing is now uh, aside here and there nothing is now changes all were there as it was and color button of there is the uh, button of the color of sat it was fallen on of the eminent detective on that day when he was forcefully taken away from this hotel when they had overpowered jimmy to arrest him means they have taken forcefully towards the jail <clears throat> pulling out from the wall a folding bed jimmy slid back a panel in the wall and dragged out a dust covered suitcase he opened this and gazed fondly at uh, the finest set braglet tools in the east it was completely set made of specially tempered steel at least designed in drill punches uh, brasses and uh, bits Jimmy clamps and agors with the two or three nobilities invented by Jimmy himself in which he took pride over 900 dollars that cost him to have made at a place where they made such things for the professions so this <clears throat> paragraph uh, now in front to you that how the jimmy actually very much experienced in the springfield wild he had a, a lot of materials and tools to do this now jimmy wanted to get back these things where he actually uh, escaped this one on the time they dragged out the dust covered suitcase what is full of the tools and that <clears throat> he pulled it out with a full of dust full of uh, unclean things materials full of the bhutti shilo he opened this and gazed up and gazed it straight look about the tools about the materials what is used for specially in the springfield wild what is this this is tempered steel it's a made of uh, tempered steel original steel and uh, it's near about 900 uh, over 900 dollars more than 900 dollars are uh, uh, used to make these all tools what are the tools actually here the punches the brasses brasses and bits uh, hammer drills you know, whatever is needed agar and some three, uh, two or three noble tools means the things what actually needed there for this professions you know uh, who oh, the the materials for holding the materials for uh, making the uh, proper punches proper uh, uh, hole proper drills e je jemon dhoro tomader je jontro gulo ar ki lage tor kon jeta ke amra boli agor ba bha e jinish gulo amra boli drills korar jontropati 
and Jimmy invented something new about his own requirement. And all these instruments are invented by Jimmy and that's why he was a specialist in this field. In half an hour, Jimmy went downstairs and through the cafe, he was now dressed in a tasteful and well-fitting clothes and carried his dusted and clean suitcase in his hand. Now Jimmy was one totally determined that he will love this city and wanted to lead a new life by escaping from this Springfield life. So he was get ready, clean properly, took this suitcase in his hand, got anything on, asked Mike Dolan Jr. So Mike Dolan very uh, delightedly asked him whether he has any uh, a, a different program. Me, said Jimmy in a positive tone, I don't understand, I'm representing the New York amalgamated sort snap biscuits cracker and fuzzled wheat company. This statement delighted Mike to such extent to Jimmy had to take a uh, slazer and milk on the spot. He never touched a hard drinks. So it's a, it's a change. Now Jimmy uh, re uh, replied very positively to Mike Dillon that yes, he is now not in the Springfield Jolly. He is wanted to representing himself. He wanted to start a new one life as a, a worker of a New York amalgamated sort stamp biscuit cracker and fuzzled uh, white company, a company that is a kaj korte chole she. And ultimately, he uh, took the very soft drinks, that is, slazer and milk of this on the spot. He never take the hard drinks now. So he has totally changed insidely and wanted to lead a normal life. But what happened? That is a more chanting story here. In interesting part that Jimmy wanted to be changed himself. Whether society is ready or not. That is in the third part. I will discuss on the next day. But your duty is to summarize all this lesson. It again summarize kutta by para by para and write down the answer of these questions. Otherwise, it will never be stick in your mind. So, my dear student, please do that. Please do that. Now, start some questions here. What is the appearance of Jimmy after getting freedom from the jail? What are the things given by the warden to the Jimmy? Uh, how did Jimmy behave with Mike Dolan in the restaurant? What are the things he had taken in the restaurant? How was the situation or condition or circumstances in the after building? Where from Jimmy was arrested? Who was Ben Price? What are the tools have in this boxes, in the suitcase? How was the price money, price money of these tools? Uh, what did Mike Dolan ask genially and what is the name of the company where Jimmy actually wanted to do the job? That's all my dear students. I think you realize what I actually wanted. Thank you very much for watching this channel.